I've been using the dual uh, XGPS ADS-B receiver for the last two years. It's been a good unit for me. It shows me everything that I've been needing. Uh, the blue light shows me Bluetooth connectivity, green light that I have a GPS lock, and the white light indicating that I have ADS-B connectivity and information downloading. This is the uh, Aver I.O. module that I've downloaded from the Google Play Store. I launched this, connect to the, uh, to the receiver, and all these numbers indicate that I've got uh, GPS um, positioning, I've got call signs and traffic coming from other aircraft, and I occasionally even see a METAR being downloaded. As you can see here on the display, there is uh, already traffic in my area, and I'm picking this up courtesy of other aircraft that are triggering uh, the ADS-B uh, TIS-B traffic display and is rebroadcast through the local towers. Um, just a quick overview, if it's blue, the target, it means that it's high enough above you that you're looking up into blue skies, not a factor. If it's red, just like uh, the red on right returning, indicating that it's definitely a factor, um, it's at an altitude that you need to be aware of. So. Also, if it has a very long tail, it means that it's a fast-moving uh, target. If it's a short tail, it means it's a slow-moving target. These, again, only get uh, rebroadcast if an aircraft in your immediate vicinity is triggering via his ADS-B out transponder uh, the towers that will rebroadcast it to you. When you actually get one at, in your aircraft, um, it will send you a return that shows you uh, just the aircraft, I believe, in your 10-mile immediate proximity. And also, it will send you a signal from the other aircraft uh, that is a target and show you where he specifically is, aircraft to aircraft. You want to set up two things in the uh, preferences, one in GPS to choose whether or not you want to use the uh, receiver as your uh, GPS fix or the internal tablet uh, chip. The other one is in weather. Uh, make sure that you have your ADS-B weather checked so that you are getting your METARs, uh, NEXTRAD, and PIREPS, and winds aloft uh, in real time uh, from the ADS-B transmission. And that takes about 10 minutes for all that to, uh, to come down. So I'm certainly not an expert in uh, the ADS-B world, but that's how it works for me. And uh, personally, I prefer not to fly without it it doesn't take much time to set up. Um, it's very easy to, um, to launch, and once it launches, it stays very stable and is uh, a nice source of information once you're flying. Hope that works for you.